I've had a few subscriber questions asking how I managed to get the Matek F722 SE flight controller working with iNav on my Shandrone's thick Cine lifter. Now, I was a bit confused because I thought I'd covered this in the build video, but when I looked back, I realized I'd touched on a couple of things that were needed, but didn't cover in detail. And there's two crucial things you need to do to get the F722 SE working with eight motors on a multi-copter with iNav. Hello, and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. The Matek F722 SE is one of my favorite flight controller boards. It's got so many features that I covered in my review video that I did three years ago, and I've used it on lots of builds since then, including this Octa 8 Cine Lifter. The main reasons it's perfect for Cine Lifters in the Octa X8 configuration is it's got eight motor outputs, a built-in barometer, dual gyros, five UARTs, and I2C, and it's a target for iNav. But there's a problem using the standard Matek F722 SE iNav target. If you go to the mixer page in the iNav configurator, you'll find you've only got six motors that you can map and set up. And this is due to the way that the target has been coded. Although it's got eight physical outputs, they can only be used in a combination of six motors and two servos, or six servos and two motors. And we need eight motors. So I set about creating a new iNav sub-target for eight motors that's called Matek F722SE underscore eight motor. I did a pull request for these changes about a year ago and they eventually got into iNav two points, something or other. And of course, I forgot about it because I was running with a local build that flew perfectly. So the Matek F722 SE underscore eight motor target made its way into iNav3 and iNav4 and is publicly available for anyone to use. Unfortunately, using this target doesn't quite get you up and running, even though the mixer displays all eight motors. Due to a conflict in DMA on the F722 SE board, you can't use any of the DSHOT ESC protocols in combination with all the outputs being used for motors. So you should use multi-shot when you choose the F722 SE underscore eight motor target. And although it's not that well known, multi-shot has a faster update rate than D-shot, even D-shot 600. And this is a good thing. It'll give you a smoother flying experience and slightly better prop wash handling. Multi-shot in many ways is superior to D-shot and it's what I use on all my large multi-rotors that run iNav. So there you have it. Hopefully it's answered the questions. And do let me know in the comments which flight controller you're using on your Cine Lifter builds. It'd be great to get an idea of what everyone else is using, especially since Cine Lifters are getting more and more popular. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful in any way, why not subscribe or maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel. And I'll see you next time.